Hey you guys, welcome back to my weekly rants where we talk about what's hot, what's not, and everything in between. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe. So first I wanna give a shout out to that LaCroix sponsorship. I know it's coming my way any day now because I drink this stuff so much. Let me take a sip. And yes, my nails are still not done. Long story, but um, I'll get them done one of these days. Um, I just wanted to share something with you guys. Since I started my business, I have to admit that I have not been in the kitchen like I used to be. And I'm starting to feel a little bad about it because feeding my family like really good nutritious meals is really important to me. And since I'm like working so much, I just, to be honest with you, have not been able to do that. They've been eating a lot of takeout and I just feel horrible. So it is after 9 p.m. and I went and got the ingredients to um, one of my favorite recipes, which is the Pioneer Woman's lasagna. It is literally the best lasagna I've ever had in my life. Like I'm not even a really big lasagna eater, but I try to find things, you know, that will stretch for a few days um, to feed my family. And I decided to try this recipe years ago. And when I tell you it is the best lasagna I've ever had in my entire life, I'm not exaggerating. So I just wanna share it with you guys. I'm getting ready to make it for tonight's dinner. I mean, I'm gonna make it tonight so they can have it for tomorrow's dinner. And then I usually serve it with like, um, you know, cheese toast and a side salad or something along that line. But I'm gonna leave the link in the description box below for the recipe. You guys have got to try this. And shout out to all my other um, entrepreneurs out there, all my hardworking women who are still trying to hold it down at home. Definitely try this recipe. Um, it will hold your family over for a couple days and it is amazing, all right? So here are all the core ingredients. To me, this is what really sets it off, this Jimmy Dean hot sausage. I use ground turkey, but um, the original recipe calls it for ground beef. You can use either or uh, whatever ground meat you wanna use. Even um, you could do like a vegan substitute as well. Um, so yeah, play with it how you want but this is what I use here. We got some garlic, pound of mozzarella, cottage cheese, which I really don't like cottage cheese, but the reason why I love this recipe is that you can't even taste it. Um, it's so amazing, I'm gonna show you. Um, whole peeled tomatoes, 28 ounces, and tomato paste. Okay, um, we also are gonna need some eggs, two eggs. And like I said, I'll leave the, um, you know, the instructions in the description box, the link to the full recipe, all right? And I use oven ready um, lasagna shells. I don't like using, I don't like boiling them. So go ahead and ground your meat. This is my ground turkey, the hot pork sausage, and um, some minced garlic. It's done. Add the whole tomatoes and mix them in good. And um, I'm gonna add the tomato paste also. Tomato paste, basil, and parsley has been added. You're gonna let your meat sauce simmer for 45 minutes on low. Simmering, get your um, cheese sauce ready. So this is cottage cheese, um, grated Parmesan, two eggs, parsley, and some coarse salt. Mix this really, 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 really good so it's super smooth. Okay, and this is what the sauce looks like mixed up. And this, you guys, is super, super, super good. It even smells good.
um, $3.50, but this is a convection bake, so it goes 25, um, it's like 25 degrees off.